Hi, I am Mirka from Revo.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to use uh, our materials in Finmotion. So for this purpose you can go to our library, as I said it's called Revo.com and we are scanning the materials from real producers so you can find here really interesting materials. I will filter here free materials and you can also download from here uh, the texture you want. So I will pick this nice tiles and for me 4K resolution is okay. So I will just simply hit download button and material is mine. So uh, I will continue with opening twin motion. And of course we are starting with the blank scene. So first of all, we'll have to add some object to apply our material. So I will go to primitives and I will place here this uh, plane. And simply I will hit the speaker icon and pick the object and you will be in the material properties. Here you can find uh, the uh, slots where you can upload your textures. So for co color we can go to more button and uh, click here to open the color texture from our downloaded material. So if I go to our tiles, I will find here this texture set. So I will simply find the color in the texture set and just open it. Okay. Then we can add some uh, reflections to the material. So uh, you have to go back to the material and uh, here you can hit more on the reflections and open uh, the roughness map from our texture set. So you'll find it here as a roughness. And maybe to see the effect, we can maybe increase the reflections. Uh, keep in mind that 50% is this uh, uh, value is stored in the texture itself, so 50% will be okay. But to be, let's say, more visible, I will uh, rotate a little bit with the uh, uh, sun to see better how reflections looks like. Okay, let's leave it like that. And right now we can apply some structure to the materials. So uh, again, I have to hit the speaker icon and go here to the settings and under the bump slot we can upload our normal map. But keep in mind our normal map are in the OpenGL, but Twinmotion is using DirectX version of the normal map. So quick explanation here. The next important information is that in 3D software can be normal maps interpreted in two ways, OpenGL and DirectX. The only difference between them is the orientation of the green channel y-axis. It's important to know what type of normal map your 3D software use. For this information, check the list below the video. Our materials have a normal map in OpenGL. If you want to convert it to DirectX, you can find in most 3D software or render engines checkbox for inverting green channel. If you don't find this option, you can open a normal map in Photoshop or a similar photo editing software, go to channels, select the green channel and with the command Ctrl plus Y, invert it. So now we know what's the difference. So I will just open our normal map in DirectX and apply it like this in Infinite Motion. Uh, I have to go back to the settings and here the bump value is set to 0% so I have to increase uh, the number to 100% so it gives me the precise information for the texture and you can start see uh, how the structure of the material is affected by this normal map. Of course you can use also a displacement map here in Twinmotion. You have to go to the parallax and hit on the more button and now uh, there is uh, hide map slot so I can open a displacement map uh, from our texture set. Um, yeah, in Finmotion it's not so necessary to using displacement maps since they are uh, consuming a lot of computational power. So when you are starting to play with this you may be start to see that uh, Twinmotion is not so smooth then. So maybe try first the normal maps and if it will look okay uh, let's say avoid uh, using hide maps. 
Okay, so this is some basic material uh, and now uh, I will show you some metallic material with uh, metallic reflections. So I will go back to the uh, to our library and in free section there is this gold material with metallic reflections so simply I will download it from here so you can download it also for zero credits okay and now I will go back to the twin motion and I will use another object for demonstrating this maybe this chamfer box will be better because it has rounded corners so I will delete this one so uh, as previously just click on this with picker icon and go to the color and open the color texture from our gold material okay now go back to the ref reflections hit more button open the roughness map and under the settings there is a metalness so I have to turn it on and I can apply our metallic map from our texture set so find here the metal yeah and go back to the settings and it looks like that in the end okay we can also add the bump uh, so sorry in the normal map for the structure but it will be the same procedure as we do previously so I will jump right uh, into another example and last example will be the material with the transparency so I will uh, again go back to uh, the library and for this demonstration you can download this material uh, which also has the opacity map so I will simply download this material as previously and uh, go again back to the twin motion so to demonstrate the opacity feature I will add here this sphere and again we have to click on this with the picker icon and what you have to know in twin motion is that the opacity map has to be stored in the alpha chain of the color map so basically now we have to jump into the Photoshop and I will show you here the procedure how to create the color map uh, with the alpha channel so first of all let's open our color map in the Photoshop and also from our texture set find here the opacity map and open it also in the same scene in Photoshop go to the layers unlock the background and uh, click back uh, on our opacity layer and you can hit uh, W uh, to pick the magic wand and this uh, contiguous has to be unchecked tolerance uh, and value of 10 is ok and I can click on the black parts of the opacity map and it will pick all the black parts uh, from the picture so I can hide this layer then go back to our first layer and just hit simply the delete button and right now I can hit control control plus D to deselect our selection and I can save it as a PNG file so as a copy of our color map okay now when I open the twin motion again and uh, I will find here this slot for the color map and in this slot I will simply choose our color map which has also the alpha channel and you can find uh, right now on the material that the material is transparent we can play a little bit with the scale of the material and also we can start to compiling the whole material so I will start with the reflections so again we can repeat uh, this procedure I will just open the roughness map this material is also metallic so I'll go back to our settings set the metalness is on 
and open here the metallic map also we can go to our setting and for adding the structure we can apply the normal map in direct x i pre prepared this in direct x so i will just simply open uh, this texture and i will increase the value of the bamp and you can see uh, that the material has no let's say uh, back face so you can just hit this two-sided icon to create two-sided material and it looks really nice so i think we go through all major features in the twin motion maybe last thing what i can show you is uh, the scaling of the texture because sometimes you have textures that has uh, no square ratio so maybe you have to stretch it in some direction in some axis so you can go here to the axis you can stretch it on y axis or x axis okay also you can move it in those axis yeah so this is basically how you can apply the PBR materials in Twin Motion in general. And I hope you like this tutorial and see you in another one.